Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line today. We're going to speak about Manchester United's demoralizing defeat against Liverpool. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Liverpool 7, Manchester United 0. And what do you say after a game like that, after a performance like, I mean, humiliating, demoralizing, disgraceful, toothless, all words you can use at various points of the game. I mean, let's get on to a question of the day to try and distract you and I and cover everybody around. We all need a distraction right now. Come on. Question of the day. So welcome to this segment of the show where we'll give you a question and by the end of the episode you can provide us with an answer in the comment section below or if you're preview gang in the live chat shout out to preview gang each and every time so here is today's question of the day and as you guys would know we are going up against Real Betis on Thursday Europa League round of 16 tie hopefully we can bounce back then but the question we've got for you here is how many Spanish teams have we gone up against in total so in european football think about how many spanish teams you can give us the number roughly or if you have the accurate number even better how many spanish teams in european football have we gone up against manchester united as any team at anfield had to survive the first 20 or so minutes at the start of the game the liverpool fans were up for it and the players were by the looks of it too but as we got further into the encounter composure started to set in we had a bit of possession carved out a few chances like the Bruno Fernandes header that just went wide unlucky there Marcus Rashford that he could only catch with his studs after a sensational ball over the top by Luke Shaw but we were starting to get in behind of Liverpool and they were opening up at times so there was a bit of optimism to see what we could possibly do going forwards Unfortunately, before we could reach the halftime whistle, Liverpool started to kick back and took advantage of our horrific mistakes. And I feel like I'm being kind by saying horrific. Dano pressed forward to Andy Robertson, who was still provided with the space to play the ball in behind Fred, who covered for him. Now, Fred looked to prevent the ball down the line, but by doing so, opened up a large amount of space for the ball to be played into. He also doesn't see the diagonal run of Cody Gakpo who receives the ball and is allowed to cut inside. The finish after that is great. But dude, that got a series of mistakes that happened here. From Delow to Fred trying to anticipate where Robertson is going to play the ball before he even looks to play the ball. Not even looking over his shoulder to see the movement of Cody Gakpo. I mean, there's so many mistakes in this and I feel like not just this season, but last season as well. For as long as we've been doing the United Twins, whenever we've been speaking about one of these type of defeats, even defeats to a lesser extent, we say Manchester United create their own problems. And it was like going back to those days. Today was exactly that kind of feeling. Everything else, to be honest, was an absolute nightmare. The scrappy nature of Darwin Nunez is first and how we basically got caught ball watching instead of marking Mo Salah and Harvey Elliott. They were free on the right side of the box by the way. Gakpo for the second time in the game ran in behind a defender who just wasn't aware until it was too late. Everything seemed off. The communication, the effort, especially in that second half. In the first half you can say we had our moments. You can say we... we warmed into the game and we created some good opportunities where it could have been a different outcome if we did put away one or two of our chances but in the second half it was men against boys by the time we conceded our fourth fifth sixth seventh the game was over it was probably over by the third goal and we mentally and physically capitulated on the pitch Especially in the second half, 
And you could probably look at the tactics which I'm sure played a part. Maybe mental and physical exhaustion. Not being able to keep up with the intensity of this Liverpool team who honestly were just that much better than our best version on the day. It was embarrassing. It was a painful defeat. And yes, we are coming off positive times. I will sum it all up come the end of the episode. But these defeats, it doesn't matter what the circumstances are. They hurt. I'm disappointed, I'm angry, but most importantly, I'm upset. You know, CM, yourself, has said numerous times on the record, the games like this and days like this will come where we almost have to question all of the progression that has been made thus far. But what this game within itself proves is that we still have a far, far journey to take in order to reach back to that, that level of consistency that is needed to contend, to consistently have success. Because even when you look at small pockets from the previous games, since Crystal Palace, to be fair, when it was the 1-1 draw, I'm thinking as far back to that, we have seen small moments of things that need to be fine-tuned. And today was like taking your clothes out of the washer. And realising that there was a small piece of paper in your trousers pocket. Horrible. It was a second half nightmare CM. Liverpool's biggest ever win against Manchester United. And our biggest defeat in the Premier League era. Let that sink in ladies and gents. Question of the day. No time for theatrics today, man. Roll the clip. How many Spanish teams have we gone up against in total? So in European football, think about how many Spanish teams you can give us the number roughly, or if you have the accurate number, even better. How many Spanish teams in European football have we gone up against? So, how did everybody fare in this episode's question of the day? Without a further ado, let's get to the answer. So, Manchester United have faced a total of 10 Spanish teams in European competitions. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Athletic Bilbao, Atletico Madrid, Valencia, Santa Vigo, Deportivo La Coruña, Sevilla, Real Sociedad and Granada. So if you got that answer correct, slap a one in the chat, big up yourself. Ladies and gents, all 22s around the world for getting that one correct. But one thing you can big up yourself for is if you didn't even attempt to answer the question especially in an episode like this in a day like this when we're recording at let's see 11 33 we don't even feel like recording we're down in the dumps so we're gonna come to the video in a couple days time and see the comment section and you guys didn't answer the questions i shouldn't even have to say but just for those in the back who, who can't clearly hear answer the question next time Please. Anyway, listen, in all seriousness, Man United fans, I want to say a message of encouragement, okay? Because this game, it hurts. It was bad. The performance was horrific. But we have to go again because there's still a lot of the season to go. And I, myself, trust Eric Ten Hag, his coaching staff, to turn this around, to turn this result around in the end of the day. It is a mini crisis, but we can come back from it. We're coming off a cup win. We won the Carabao Cup. We beat Barcelona the game before that. We've got a big game against Real Betis on Thursday. So we need to switch on. We need to see what went wrong most importantly and take some of those negatives, fine tune them like I said before and go into this game all guns blazing. It's not going to be easy. But once again, I believe in this coaching staff, the manager, and also the team. Because 
even though they have given us a game like this where it somewhat kind of messes with your trust right especially all of it since it was built back after these last couple of years it, it does kind of mess with your mess with your mentals but i do trust that these players can come back they can bounce back and i hope that they do so if you enjoyed this episode please be sure to hit a like on the video subscribe if you're new share to your friends and frenemies and until the next time we'll see you lots in a bit